Okay, let me just read through the problem. It says the sum of the real roots x of this equation, by the way. So there's going to be real roots to this equation over here. Here's the problem with the equation, though. The equation, uh, the k, um, is 2, 3, 4, up to 2,023. Now, someone says, well, I'll solve each equation and find out what the root is. I don't think that's the way to go, by the way. All right? So what I'm going to be looking at uh, is how to do the problem. I noticed there's a footnote over here. I want to read that to you. It's the, from the 2023 Stanford Math Tournament, an annual high school mathematics competition hosted by Stanford University. Uh, the competition aims to promote interest and enthusiasm for mathematics among high school students, providing them with challenging and thought-provoking problems to solve. By understanding that this is a student run, uh, and students are pretty much running this, all right, and they certainly, uh, I think in the past, I think it goes back to 2000, I think I write up, um, yeah, early 2000s over here. I write this up, and uh, you, you want to read through that, <coughs> but I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, it's student run, and undergraduate, graduate students, you know, basically writing problems, um, and um, administering the exam to students that are interested. And I believe students from around the world can participate. Probably uh, more likely that they're, they're concentrating on the, uh, the best students in California, all right? So let me take a look. I'm gonna go to the whiteboard, and it looks like a tough problem, but I do wanna go to the whiteboard and start talking through it, all right? Now, part of this thing is just writing down what they've given me. And what they've given me is they've given me an equation to solve. That's two to the two x exponential, by the way. It looks it really looks complicated right there to begin with, and then uh, plus one, minus one over k squared is equal to zero. Well, a couple things I noticed about this. I know that the k is going to range in value from two, and their integer three, four, and it goes all the way up to two thousand twenty three. So my first goal is to, you know, try to solve the equation, but I'm not going to be plugging in, um, you know, a k is 2 and then k is 3 and then k is 4. I'd, I'd really be here all day long doing it. And I think there might be an easier way of doing it, all right? So the first thing I'll do, notice about this over here is that it, it looks sort of quadratic. So I'm going to put this over here, 2 to the x squared minus 2. That's the first power, by the way. 2 to the x plus one minus one over k squared equals zero. So I'm gonna let u equal two to the x, all right? This is important because I'm trying to simplify the equation now. So what do you get? You get u squared minus two u. You know, I notice this is gonna be a quadratic and I think I can complete the square on it. So I can write this down as one over k squared minus one. What I do, I subtract it one from both sides and I add it one over k to both sides. I'm going to complete the square now. Half of minus two is minus one. Square it, you get plus one. I'll add one to both sides. So now what do I get? I get u minus one quantity squared is one over k squared. All right. Now certainly I'm looking at this thing and I'm wondering what to do now. And it looks like I can solve for uh, u, at least I think so. You're going to get u minus 1 equals plus or minus 1 over k. And by the way, k is an integer from 2 to 2003, so it, look, it looks okay. And then I'm going to say over here is, let's write this down over here, u is equal to 1 plus or minus 1 over k. I can write it a little differently. I can write this as k plus or minus 1 over k is equal to u. Let me keep moving. And I gotta remind myself what u is, and u is two to the x. I'll put this over here. Two to the x equals k plus or minus one over k. All right? Again, I wanna remind you that the k, it can be two, it can be three, all the way up to 2,023. That's a large number of numbers. But what I can do now is uh, realize I can split into two separate problems, and I'm, I'm going to start thinking about that. And one could be k plus 1 over k. It's an exponential, 2 to the x is a positive number. And the other one is um, 2 to the x is equal to k minus 1 over k. All right? So I want to solve for x. Well, the first one's pretty easy to do. x would equal the natural log 
of, you know what, I'm not gonna use natural log, I'm gonna use base two. And the reason for that, it makes it a lot easier. Let me put that down for you. So log base two, k plus one over k. Now the other one you gotta think about, and what I think about is, is that a positive number? Well, if I start at 2 and go to 2003, it's always a positive number. So I'm going to get x equals, let's see, log base 2, k minus 1 over k. All right. Now, these are the x's. These are the roots of the problem, by the way. But now i got to, get, I got to sum them together. All right. So what's the sum going to be? The sum, and I'm, I'm, I'm summing all the roots together, k equals 2. Right, it starts at two, and then it stops at 2023. That's a large number of terms, by the way. So let's hope something nice happens. And I'm, I'm gonna put this down now, and this is gonna be log, I'm gonna say k plus one minus log k. And you may wonder why I'm doing that. I'm gonna say this is gonna be telescoping, all right? So what I wanna do is I wanna start writing it down. And what do you get there? You get, this is base 2. You get log base 2, 3, minus log base 2, 2. The next one's going to be log base 2, 4, minus log base 2, 3. The next one, I'm not going to write them all down, log base 2, 5, minus log base 2, 4. I'm just going to say yada, yada, yada. It goes to the end. And what's the end going to be? Log base 2, 2024, minus log base 2, 2023. I want to write the one before it. And that's going to be log base 2, 2023, minus log 2022. Now, what do I know about this over here? It's telescoping. It's kind of, a telescope kind of collapse on itself that this would cancel that, this would cancel that, this would cancel, not written down, but you know it's there. And then, you know, looking at these things over here, I'm gonna say this would cancel that, and there been before that, and everything in the middle is gonna cancel off too. So what I, what I'd be left off with? I'd be left off with minus log base two of two plus log base two of 2024. All right, let's write that down now. That can be simplified to log base two, and I'm using the rules of exponent, uh, rules of logs, it's 2024 over two, which is gonna be log base two of one, zero, one, two. All right, let's not worry about that, all right? Now, someone said, what did you do that? I just summed all the roots together. Let's do this one. What do you get there? Uh, I think it's gonna be very similar. K okay, is two to 2023, and then it's gonna be log base two, k minus one, minus log base two, k. And the same thing, I write them down now. So it's gonna be log base two, uh, let's see, that's gonna be two minus one, which is one, minus log base two of two, then it's gonna be plus log base two of two, minus log base two of three, plus log base two of three, minus log base two of four. Let's see if I'm doing this right. Two, uh, two uh, three, four, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just say blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the end. What's the end look like? Log base two, and that's gonna be 2022 now, minus log base 2, 2023. I'm going to do the one before it. It's going to be log base 2, 2021, minus log base 2, 2022. And there's a lot going on here. And what I'm going to do is, you know, it's telescoping, and things are, are, are collapsing um, in the problem, like a telescope collapses. I'm seeing this over here, and I know that all things disappear there. And looking at this thing over here, I'm seeing this disappear, this would disappear, and everything in the middle would disappear. What are you left off with over here? Log base two of one, 
minus the log base two of 2023. All right, now what does this one look like? And let's use rules of log for this one over here. And what are you gonna get there? Log base two, and that's gonna be one over, let's see, 2023. All right, and I, certainly I'm gonna write it a little differently. I'm just gonna write it as, you know, uh, that's pretty simple by the way. Uh, it's gonna be minus the log to 2023. Now, by the way, these are some of the roots. I gotta add these two together now. And what are you gonna get? So let's write that down. Log base two, 1,012, minus log base two, 2,023. Boy, that looks nasty, doesn't it? And what are you gonna over there? You're gonna get log base two, and then you're gonna get, let's take a look at that. It's gonna be 1,012 over 2,023. Now I gotta go back and read the question because I did sum all the roots together, all right? The sum of the roots. This is the sum of the roots, by the way. This is the sum of all the roots. Um, I did that, and it says, oh, it says, what's two to the n? Let's write this down. What's two? This is the n now. So it's two to the n. What's that gonna be? Two to the log base two, 1,012, 2,023. What is that gonna give you? One, zero, one, two over 2023, and that's the end. We're done. Thank you.